Hi, my name's Carl, and today we're going to fit a base rail, handrail, and spindles onto this staircase. Firstly, we need to take a dimension from the top null post down to the bottom null post. Once you've got this dimension, we also need the angle of the stair. This is going to be the angle that we cut to. Once you've got the length of the stair and you've got the angle, you can then mark your base rail. This is normally around 42 degrees set your saw to the angle and once you're happy with the angle make your first cut once you've cut your base rail top and bottom we can fit it to the stairs making sure it's central to the boat to the null post Once you've got your base rail screwed into position, you need to cut yourself a couple of spindles, fit into position, top and bottom, and then just hold with a clamp. Once you've got your spindle in position, bottom and top, you can then cut your handrail and then fit it. Once you've got your handrail fitted, you need to work your spacing out for your spindles and cut your infill. These are the little spaces in between the spindles. Once you've done that, cut the rest of your spindles and start fitting. Once you've got your base rail and your handrail fitted, it's then cutting your spindles. We've already cut some spindles, so now you can carry on and cut the rest of them. Once you've got your spindles cut, we then need to proceed and finish cutting the infill. I've got a little mark on here, this is the size of the infill. Once you've cut all these, you're good to go.
fit your spindles, a little bit of PVA, top and bottom. Slot into position. And then same again with the infill. These can be pinned into position if you need to. And then just continue on up the stairs until all the spindles are fitted. As you carry on up the stairs, just take a level just to make sure that these are plumb and true. I hope this video helps you renovate your staircase. If you've got any questions, please get in touch with us.